But you know, we're kind of ignoring something that's happening. As sexy as all these phones are, and exciting as exciting as they are, and the analogy that you made to the the old PC world is very interesting because the same thing is happening. All these phones look alike. Yeah. Right. One after the other. Now, when all the phones look alike and their capabilities become about the same, where does the new battlefront occur? It occurs in the tablet space, and that is to me kind of interesting because that's an area where Android is is not entirely making it. You know, and right. Apple sort of is is using the same game plan and the same level of control and at least for now making it. And and this is going to be such an important year for the Android side to succeed and bring out, you know, something beyond the zoom that can really capture the imagination well, of and, all and, the users. And that's a place where you see um, Apple's control, this closed ecosystem completely winning. I mean they are crushing. There is no other competition at this point. I mean, nobody's competing with them at the level that they're at uh, in terms of tablets. And nobody, people who are buying those devices because they weren't, you know, walking into phones, you, you need to have a phone, you want to have a phone. And people had seen smartphones before. But a tablet is a completely new class. So you've got the situation where Apple is able to not only give, you know, give consumers a great product, but they say, this is what the product is like. This is, mm -hmm. you've never seen this before, and here's how it works. And so nobody's going to be, nobody actually is going to be as surprised as they would maybe on a phone or on a computer when they say, well, you can't have this piece of software on there, or you can't have this book on there, or whatever, because it's a completely new frontier for them. Right. So I think that's, I mean, getting back to the, the closed versus open conversation, I, mean, I think it's interesting to see how well Apple's doing and how, how difficult it is for anybody to really step up and, and, and compete with them there. Well, I mean, well, do you think there will be that point? I, I you know BlackBerry announced it's going to run Android apps on Playbook. It, it, there is that, is Google maybe in the next couple of years going to have an advantage as, as some people catch up to, to Apple? I mean, they're going to saturate the marketplace, right? There's no question about that. The, the real question is what experience are they going to provide? Is it going to be as good as the one that Apple's providing? And as of right now, I don't think we've seen that. I don't think that's been demonstrated. Right. The the, the experience is, is still quite different on most tablets. I mean, the Zoom, uh, Motorola Zoom with the Honeycomb, which is uh, Android 3.0, is probably the best Android experience on a tablet you can get right now. But then there's all these competing operating systems. You know, Playbook has QNX, uh, HP's Touchpad has uh, their WebOS, which they bought, and they're all different, yet they're all somewhat similar. But yes, Apple's crushing it on the tablet side, but history has proven that it doesn't matter in the technology space if somebody is crushing it. You can get a competitor in there, like Android, in the phone space, we just saw it, who can eat up market share. Apple sold 17 million units, 17 million iPads last year. Uh, they've sold you know, probably millions more this year. But it's a massive market, there's so much space there's probably going to be one or two other imagination capturing devices out there that you know do enough and work well enough and give you the ease of use you know google is working right now to sort of get its its all its ducks in order all the things in order so that it can deliver an experience that is sort of holistic and does feel a little bit more almost i hate to say it but apple like well no but i mean that's i was i was just thinking this that what they're doing now with honeycomb which is the third version of Android, and they've made it really specifically for tablets at this point, there's a lot less openness going on there. They seem to be much more controlling about how it looks and how it feels, and the first round of uh, tablets that we've seen are all running stock honeycomb.